All right, the other night it was dark. I had been eating dinner. I came out, went to start my motorcycle, and when I turned the key, nothing, nothing happened. Normally these lights will come on and then you can start it. Nothing. I knew that this ignition switch had been getting kind of worn out. It is 42 years old this year. And because last year this happened once, but I, and once in a while it doesn't go on. And if I do that, it'll go on and all is well. But nothing I could do uh, last week would get it to start. So there I am in the dark by myself. Reach underneath here and you find this thing here. I already, it's got a little tab underneath. You push that up and then you can pull it out. And you can see there's six pins under there. And I was pretty sure that, because one of these is red, you can see the middle, I know it's dark, I'm sorry, but the, the middle one is red. So I was pretty sure that that was power going in to the switch. And then, so there's five things. There's three across the bottom and two on the top. Um, but I, again, was pretty sure the power was coming into the middle. And so I dug through the backpack that I had and I found myself a binder clip, which has, you know, the little ones has these ends on it, which is just about perfect. So what I did was I stuck the binder clip in this side. You see, there's a little spark. And actually, it's a perfect size. It'll fit in there. And those lights will come on, and you can start it up. Oh, I don't have a choke on. It'll start up. Uh, I didn't. I needed a headlight though, and the headlight didn't come on. Well, so happens this other side will turn on your headlights. So when you go to the top or the side with the clip on it, which is really the bottom, if you jump these two pins right here, you're going to be able to start the start the motorcycle. If you shove another, uh, the other half of the binder clip in this side. Uh, the headlight will be on and you can make it home without having to call your wife you can come with a trailer take it home and take it to the shop so you can figure out what was wrong with it yes i know people are going to say oh you're going to tell people how to steal motorcycles well i doubt that too much but more importantly it'll help people get their motorcycles started when they have no other options i wish there was a video like this uh, the other night when i was sitting in the dark All trying right. to figure out how to start it in a separate video, I'm going to show you how to fix this uh, ignition switch. I was able to take it apart and repair it without having to buy any parts.